Oh man. I suck at this game. Enough of this crappy game. I got some new comics and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Right after this intro. Hey, what's going on guys? So like I said before, I do have some new comics to show you guys. I got some raws and some slabs, some variant goodness, but I'm really excited to show these off to you guys and add this yummy, tasty goodness to my collection. So I'll start off showing some raws. First I got is the, um, the Derek Chu Harley 58 variant. I actually picked up multiples of this because I had pre-ordered it right before it came out, so I got them for cheaper. So I got three copies, and I actually ordered a 9.8 a slab from a Slabbed Heroes because he had pre-sales for $30, and you just can't beat buying a slab for $30. I mean, shipping additional, but $30 for a 9.8, I figured, love that cover, so I picked that up. Recently, it was up in Annapolis. I live down in Southern Maryland. There's a small third eye shop down here, but their big store is up in Annapolis. So I was up there on the weekend, decided to stop by and uh, walked in on the tail end of Chip Zdarsky signing. So I was able to meet Chip Zdarsky and I was also able to get him to sign a copy of his new Daredevil number one title. I was looking for variants, see if they had any variants, but uh, yeah, they were pretty much wiped out by then. So, but I was glad. Really cool guy, happy to meet him. And next I picked up uh, this Magical Beatdown comic. It's been uh, pretty popular lately. Volatile topic, I guess, between collectors and speculators, but picked this up nonetheless. This was at Third Eye as well. They had it up there by the cash register, and uh, I was like, oh, I'll get a copy of that. Next, I have the Matina cover B for female female furies. I keep wanting to say furries, but uh, so I picked up the Matina cover B for female furies number one. This one, if you follow any of my weekly picks or any of my videos, I always talk about how much I love this title, especially on Instagram. I picked up a, um, a White Noise variant, a Christian Ward of These Savage Shores number one. Uh, I believe it's limited to 300 copies. I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I've been getting over a cold, but so I picked this up and I actually got this from Jetpack is what the site I got it from. And they sent it with a copy of this uh, Lost City Explorers from Aftershock. They sent this free with it, so that was pretty cool. And uh, it was twelve dollars, by the way. That that variant that these Savage Shores, they do still have some on their website. So if you want to pick that up or interested in picking that up, JetpackComics.com. And I ordered two of these from Boom, just because I love the cover. That's the WWE Forever number one. It's got all the classic Under the Giant, Rowdy Piper, Ric Flair, Junkyard Dog. So great cover there. Raza does fantastic covers on these. So like I said, I got two of these from Boom Boom Studios website. Uh, I think they're $7 a piece from there. Uh, so this this is Ogre number one. This is actually a store variant. It comes from Black Cape Comics. I actually won this on an Instagram contest, which I never win anything, but there's an Instagram account on there called Just A Little Podcast. Great podcast. It's two guys out of South Florida. They do a, a podcast on comic book, movies, current events, but they're running an Instagram podcast and uh, Black Cape Collectibles had donated this for that contest. So I won on there, shipped this out to me. So I was really glad to get a copy of this and check out Just a Little Podcast on iTunes, justalittlepodcast.com. But really appreciate that, guys. And then, of course, I picked up the um, Tony Stark Iron Man number eight just because I love the cover. Um, actually, this is another one. I bought the regular cover and then I ended up ordering a, a 9.8 slab or 9.8 graded copy on Slabbed Heroes. So that'll come. Um, I did standard grading on that. So that'll come in like eight to 10 weeks, but it's for my collection, so I don't mind waiting. But I'm glad to get this. And then of course I picked up Immortal Hulk number 13. It's a fantastic story. If you're into comics right now, I'm sure you're well aware of this, but if you aren't, and you're not, when you're looking for a story to pick up, definitely start reading Immortal Hulk. Plus, I love all the regular covers because Alex Ross does the regular covers for those. So and Then another great story that I've been enjoying reading. I got Conan the Barbarian number three. Jason Aaron's writing this. Another fantastic story, which I think that's one of my favorite adjectives, right? Fantastic. But um, 
So this has been really good. So I'll continue to pick these up. I um, I have a pull box and it's very short. I have Conan in it. I have some Mad Cave Studio titles and some Vault titles. Everything else, I usually email or call Third Eye Comics, which is my LCS, and say, hey, do you have this available? Can you hold it for me? If they'll say, yes, we do, or no, you're SOL. And I'm just like, well, thank you kindly. This one I got from Comic Sketch Art, and that's the Arnold Schwarzenegger photo variant. Uh, happy to have this because when you think of Conan, me growing up in the 80s especially, you definitely think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this is cool. And then, of course, recently, I don't know if you noticed, it's been floating around social media. They actually have Arnold Schwarzenegger reading the comic, sitting in a chair holding a sword. That's a pretty cool video. But uh, great cover. Glad to add this. I wish I could afford. They had some signed copies, some signed graded copies available to order, but I didn't have the money for it. But I did pick this up. And I got Guardians of the Galaxy number one. This was my favorite cover out of all of them. And that is the Mike Diodato Party variant. This was um, regular cover, regular price at a lot of places. Third Eye actually was um, had it a little bit higher, but I don't mind it because Third Eye always takes care of me. So I, I paid a couple bucks extra, but this was my favorite cover out of all the ratios. Uh, I did like some of the other ones, but out of all of them, this was still my favorite. I like the Perel one or Peril, however you say it. But So these are actually very special to me. These are Master of the Universe number seven and number eight. And these are actually He-Man.org variants, and they're limited to 500 copies each. So uh, if you see these online, uh, definitely pick them up when you can, especially for cheap, because they go for good money. And it's hard to find them, especially if you just want to add them to a collection like me, who loves collecting Masters of the Universe. But uh, shout out to uh, Sean Leggett, Big Leg. He saw these on eBay uh, for the, for a decent price. I paid I paid $99 each for, for each of these, so 100 bucks a piece. And uh, they go for a lot more sometimes, but I was happy to add those. He has all the He-Man.org variants, so he's an a-hole because I'm jealous. So that's it for Raws, and uh, yeah, still congested. But we're going to go into uh, some some graded, co graded comics here real quick. And my favorite, favorite cover. Like if I tell you Along the Savage Shores is like one of my favorite titles, this is my favorite cover of it. And I've been a strong advocate of this cover. And this is the Savage Shores number one second print. So shout out. I got this from Slab Heroes also. Um, shout out to Andy Tomerlin because he's the one that showed it. And I didn't know Nick from Slab Heroes had these. So I hit Nick up and said, hey, if you get any more copies, I definitely want one. Just tell me what, what you're charging for it because it's like my favorite cover. And Nick, awesome dude. He's like, hey, I got one more for myself but I'll sell it to you because I got some more Raws coming that I'll submit. So, huge shout out to Andy and Nick. I love this book, love this cover. Uh, Tomb of Dracula homage. So really glad to add this to my personal collection. This is another book I bought off Slab Heroes and it's the uh, the Art Germ Catwoman. I got I got this one because I like the Christmas cover on it. Um, it's a guy in Koi Cakes who loves collecting like moon variants because he's just weird like that. So shout out to Koi Cakes and his Moon variant collection. But fantastic cover. You got Santa Claus down here, Catwoman up there. But Nether Slab Heroes of Quentin. Telling you, um, you can't help but talk about the guy because the prices are, are awesome. And he takes good care of you, ships well, ships quick. A lot of people complain, but he says right there on the website, man, if he's submitting for grading, you're going to wait fast, fast pass grading or um, what do they call it? Fast. The expedited grading, four to five weeks, and if you're doing standard grading, eight to ten weeks from the time you order. So, just be patient because you will get them. But I did get this awesome J. Scott Campbell Virgin variant off him, because I bought the print that this is the work is off of off J. Scott Campbell signed. He signed it, and I bought it off his site about two years ago. So this is cool because now I have the comic to go with the print. And uh, yeah, love this. Uh, J. Scott Campbell hit or miss sometimes, but he usually does really good on Spider-Man covers, so I'm glad to have this. This next one, a lot of people are probably going to be like, what the heck, dude? But if you do know me, I do also love me some Walt Disney. So I bought a Beauty and the Beast, number one of, this is just a one issue, like one shot, but 9-8, and it's signed by Paige O'Hara and, um, was it Robbie Benson? Yeah, Robbie Benson, who did the voices of beauty or bell and beast beauty yeah that's that's beauty but bell and beast 
signed by the people that did the voice voice actors for them. And uh, I was really glad to have this because I like the comic. I like the 9-8 grade, but I also like that it's Disney and classic Disney film. One other thing, um, if you know me or you watch any of my videos, watch any of my hauls, I'm trying to complete a whole 1 through 13 issue run of the 1986 Marvel Star Masters of the Universe. So I picked up Masters of the Universe number 598. So I am almost done. I need one issue now to complete the run for me. And that is number six. So I always have saved eBay searches, always looking. So if you see it, Mass Universe number six from the 1986 Marvel Star run, let me know, because that's the last one I need to complete the run of this in 9.8. And keeping with Indy, and especially Vault. Um, this is one comic I have a re the regular issue of, but I picked up Heathen number one. This is the variant. Um, I, wanted to, I forget what it was, 1 in 10, 1 in 5, or something like that. But Heathen number one already has a low print run. But I picked this up. Um, Heathen is coming back comic-wise, and it's also got a screenwriter attached for a movie. So I wanted to get this before prices jump, if they, if they do, which usually they do once movie news comes out and stuff like that. But great title anyways. And uh, so I got this. I bought this on eBay, I think, for... 119 but happy to have this thanks for bearing through my uh my voice of course i've probably talking like i just recently hit puberty with my voice cracking getting over a head cold so hey click that thumbs up button if you like this video please consider subscribing if you've already done so but most importantly remember it's your collection buy what you like this is brown with Superman's comics and i'll see you guys next time